Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there's three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc.'s templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions, Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, 
sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Marketing Project Management Database. So if you scroll down near the bottom here underneath the database tools and miscellaneous templates, you'll find the Access Marketing Project Management Database. Go ahead and click on that. Once that web page opens, go down to the download a demonstration section and download a demo that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that is running on your computer. I'm going to download this one. Once it downloads, open the file, and the file is zipped up, so you're going to need to extract all the contents of the file before you open it. Once you've extracted the file, go ahead and open the file. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views it as a potential security risk or concern. Now, I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. This database template was designed for maybe a company's marketing department or a marketing company as a whole to keep track of all the projects that they have and uh, keep track of their old projects that they've completed. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and add a vendor. So if you go to that vendors tab and hit add new vendor, we're going to just enter in some information about a vendor. So we're going to say this is just a test vendor and we're going to say the primary contact of the company is Bill Jones just making these ones up here and we're gonna add in the phone number but as you can see you can put in a lot of information about each vendor that you put in um, you can put in notes about them you can put in the address of them their email their web page and you can even put a picture of the vendor if you'd like we will not be doing that for now just for the sake of the demonstration so now we're gonna go ahead and hit save and new once you hit that, a new pop-up box shows up for a new vendor, but we've already added one, so we don't need to do that. And so now, if you wanted to search for your vendors quickly to determine maybe some potential information about the vendor, or you just needed to contact that vendor, you could simply go into this database template and search for it. So we just created it, and it was uh, test vendor. So if you type in test, um, as you can see, they show up right away since they are the only one in the database as of now. So if you'd like, you can even double-click the vendor now, and it opens up this pop-up box once again and you can go back and edit any of the information you've already entered close out of that for now and so now we're gonna add an employee so if you go to the employees tab and hit add new employee it's similar to the vendor tab but for an employee so if you type in a first name a last name we'll put in a company we'll put in WSI, and we'll put in, we'll put in a phone number same phone number oh well uh, and then we'll put in an email. <clears throat> but similar to the vendor, you can add in a picture of the employee, notes, their address. But with the employees, you can also add projects that they are currently working on or maybe tasks that they are currently assigned. They have no projects or tasks assigned to them now. That is why this is blank. But if we uh, create a new project and add it to them, it will show up there. So now if we hit save and new, same thing, a new pop-up box shows up for a new employee, but we've already added one. Same thing with the vendors. Now I can go through and search for my employees. So if I type in B, since I'm the only one I've created, there we go. It shows up right away, and I can double-click it once again, come back, and edit some information if I'd like. So now we're going to add a project. If you go to the Projects tab and hit Add New Projects, you can see this is a pretty detailed section. You can add in a lot of information about the projects. We're just going to type in Test1 for this project name. We're going to say the owner of it is the one I just created, the uh, owner employee Blake. Category, this is, these categories were just added in for the sake of a demonstration. If you purchase the database template, you'll be able to enter in all your own categories. But we're just going to go ahead and we're going to say it was some e-marketing. Um, normal priority status, it has, it's in progress, you've just started, and you have a start date and an end date as well. So we're going to give it a due date or an end date of two weeks from now. But you can also put, as you can see, you can put in budgets. So let's say the budget is $100 in this project. And you have two weeks. We'll say we have 14 days to work on it. There we go. So now we have $100 in uh, our balance. And we have 14 days to complete this. As well as for this, you can add in attachments. So if you had a tap, maybe documents that you wanted to add to it, you can do that. Um, 
as you can see we got the balance of days updates and the balance on here and you can even put in notes you also can go to project deliverables so if you had specific deliverables throughout the project you could add those in right here and you can even assign them to a specific employee so this is a pretty detailed section so we're going to go ahead and hit add deliverable and we're going to say deliverable we'll just say mock-up there we go to projects test number one it's assigned to a different employee that was added in here status not started you can even attach it to the vendor we could do it to the vendor we just made add attachments the percentage it's complete the cost in days how much it's going to cost in total due date all that good stuff we will not be adding any of that in for now just the base information so as you can see you can go ahead and close this now and now i can go ahead and close this and now if i want to search for that project i can so we did it named it test one so there we go start typing in test you can see there's a few other ones that were added just for the sake of the demo but if i add in type in test there we go the one i just created test one blake test is the employee on it it is e-marketing and you can even double click it like the employees tab and you come back and edit some more information if you like so this is a pretty detailed database it'd be perfect like i said if you were a marketing firm or uh, a marketing department within a company you wanted to keep track of all your current projects as well as past projects and future projects it'd be perfect for that so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to thank you all for taking your time to watch this microsoft access expert database template walkthrough brought to you by winning solutions inc i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please feel free to like or subscribe to our youtube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials as always contact us for any of your it needs whether you need programming done database development you want to buy a template anything Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those websites we post quite frequently. Once again, thank you all for watching this Microsoft Access Expert Database Template Walkthrough and have a great day.